This course will introduce you to the basics of network design. And you don't need to start with a blank sheet. Remember to download our network topology templates straight after the course and use them to create your own company network drawings for every project. Network management begins with design and every project should have a design topology drawing clearly showing the location and details of every network host. Without a design topology, engineers wouldn't know how the network looked when it worked perfectly. And this leads to chaos when trying to find the host which is causing any network problems. Rolling a truck each time to troubleshoot networks is expensive and time consuming. But with a network topology drawing, you often have little other choice. There are plenty of remote management tools out there which will tell you what a network looks like at any given point in time. But these tools won't design a network for you first. That's your job. And with almost every piece of AV equipment now sitting as a host on a network, simply connecting it all up together and hoping for the best is no longer acceptable. Network designs have a clearly thought out IP framework for the project. So, regardless of which engineer is asked to support it, he has all the information he needs to identify how the network may have changed from when it was originally configured. Network designs are considered essential in the IT world, and a network engineer wouldn't even consider carrying out any maintenance without one. And yet, far too many AV projects still don't have any form of network topology drawing in place. Network designs are slightly different to a project design. Project designs include cable plans, which identify the location of all the equipment in the project and how that equipment is interconnected. They also include important elevation drawings with accurate dimensions, technical product details, as well as certain sound system engineering information. Project designs are often large documents and the network topology design should be considered an essential addition to the overall project design. Network topology designs don't need to be too complex. They should be considered as a tool which protects the integrator from other people messing with the network which was originally installed. There's a well-known phrase in networking, and with most AV equipment now using IP as a key transport mechanism, Protection is essential in order to stop integrators wasting big money fixing networking problems caused by other people. Your network design should allow any of your engineering team to visit the site and put the network back to its original state, even if they've never visited that site before. Your network topology drawing should include a key identifying the main components within your network. There are a huge amount of Cisco icons available, but without considerable networking experience, these may only be familiar to IT personnel. Consider using a simpler set of icons, which cover the networking components that you use within your business. And this will make the key easier to follow for anyone, regardless of their networking experience. When drafting out the topology drawing, always think about how easy it is to follow. Having too much information on the page can be really confusing, but you need to make sure that you've got just the right amount of information to allow you to identify where any problem might be. Each host should be clearly marked out with the IP address assigned to it and the subnet information shown after the forward slash. In this example, the subnet is 24, which means the first 24 bits of the IP address relates to the network and the last eight bits relate to the host address. As you follow each connection on the network topology, it should be clear which IP address is used for each host along the way, as well as which port the connection is using on each host. Your design should be accompanied by a table of information relating to every network host you are responsible for the maintenance of, including technical information such as firmware revisions for each host, login information and practical information such as exactly where the host is located 
in the building. You should also identify the host IP address information along with the MAC address and, if relevant, the multicast IP addresses for each stream of audio and video data. This information is essential for troubleshooting as it clearly shows if equipment has been moved or swapped out, causing dropouts which you are being blamed for. The biggest cause of network failure is people, or wetware as it's known in networking parlance, and so by effectively resetting the network to how it was set up originally, you'll often find the issue is resolved, and, more importantly, the problem wasn't caused by the failure of a host on that network. Don't forget to download the helpful documentation which accompanies this course. You'll find an example design along with a bunch of useful icon images to insert into your design software. You'll also find a really useful predefined template which you can simply overwrite with all the necessary host information for your project. Start saving time and money by ensuring every system that you deploy is supported by easy to follow network topology information.